Freebie Outdoors brought to you by our premier sponsor, Spot Hog, maker of the world's toughest archery products. Sometimes in life, reality is tough to handle. Today is an example of that. My good buddy Brad Burkhart, an accomplished angler in his own right, had been after me for years to take him tight line. You know how it is if you've got a little technique or own something a little special, sometimes you just don't want to give it away freely. Today was the day that I took Brad Burkhart tight line. We're going to Cherokee Lake. We've got Barry Luke behind the camera. Man, we're going to have an awesome time. But there's one problem. Brad Burkhart catches on too quickly to this tight line technique. In fact, well, you're going to have to see what happens, but he messes it all up by catching great big large man. I'm Nathan White. Welcome to 3B Outdoors. We're on Cherokee Lake today, and it's, uh, what, 23rd day of December? Yep. And uh, we're going to do a little deal I've been doing for a long time. Love to do it. Sometimes it, it's to my detriment I'll do it when they're biting other stuff. We're going tight line. And you've been tight lining for how long? Uh, zero. Zero. Yeah, so today is uh, classroom with Nathan. So today the teacher's going to school, right? Exactly. You're a teacher by trade, professional fisherman and all that, but today we're gonna to try to teach Brad a little new deal to add to his toolbox where he might catch them a little bit further down the road and win a big bunch of money. And then I can say, where's my cut, <laughs> right? <laughs> the shake on the tip. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and you want it, you want to surf the rocks. Surf. So it, that means, you know, how you kind of get as close to the rocks you can, just skim yeah. it. And then if they're down a little deeper, you slow it down, but you want it on a pendulum. You want it to come uh, back like that. You don't want to pull it through the water column horizontal. Now, you see there? Uh, uh, stay down now. We don't want you. We're not into acrobatics today. I don't think he's real, real big, but. Is he good? Well, no, I mean they're all good. He's pulling. That is the monster. No, no monster. No monster. Man, tight lining, Berkeley gulp. It's about as simple, about as much fun as it gets. Now, I'm gonna put him on the board. He looks to be 18, but I'm gonna satisfy my curiosity. The tape never lies, you know. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. He's over the end of the board almost. Hey, wait, three times? I'm on the front of I kind of like this stuff for some reason. That's so much fun. I just can't explain it. All right, Burkhart's getting ready to get his first lesson of bear hunting with a switch. I mean, man, this big old smallmouth just hooks him up and turns him loose and then finally gets loose and Burkhart full of excuses. Oh, son, let me tell you, the boy has struck gold. I mean, that sucker hardly even in the water. <laughs> He's gone. I'm pretty sure I caught him <laughs> five feet before I know he was a kid. <laughs> hey, are you on drag? Are you on back reel? I'm on, I'm on, I'm on back reel now. I saw him run through that structure scan back there. <laughs> I think that's the one I seen on, he's still on your line. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Hey, come on, come on, dude. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, my word. He took you for a ride and left you with nothing but the chains. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We got the good out of him. No, I, would, I didn't. I wanted to get a little stinky on my hand. All we was going to do was give him a physical. Holy moly. <laughs> Bear hunting with a switch. Here, give me a Get that look off you. I'm boat flipping the next one and seeing if it works. <laughs> yeah, throw it. Launch him over the side. I'm going to try. Can you believe that? You know when I realized I had him? When he made about 10 yards out in front of the boat. <laughs> what did I just tell you? Yeah. Leave it to what, Burkhart what did I to go tight lining. <laughs> what did I just say? And catch a large mouth. What did I just say? Nathan called him. That's probably what hit mine. Did I not just get a bite right there? You did. You okay. got a bite right there. I stirred him up. Yeah. You made him mad. And I said that when they throw I fed it around, him. When you throw it around a tree, it's either a large mouth. He's not hooked real good either, I don't That's think. That's a keeper. He's barely, he barely got him. Yeah. Stay on there, boy. That's a good keeper there. 
Lord, I'm stepping on my old floater pole. I don't need it no way, though. <laughs> now I'm doing This stomp of guys. Like <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. Don't you come off. Stay on there. Now that's a good one there. Leave it to Burkhart to make a small mouth show. Into a green. Field. And catch a darn large mouth. And a good one at that. Oh, you got him, didn't you? He look here, up. look. Look at Billy. He just barely did get him, didn't he? That's a keeper. That's a good keeper right there. Tight lining for large mouth works also. There you go. Good job, Brad. You're the man. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> awesome, dude. You're the tight line extraordinaire. Have you, hey, <clears throat> score report. Where are we at here? I think, what, what is it, seven to two, my favorite? Now, wait a minute, where'd you go to school at? I'm pretty sure that, now that was what, fish seven? Am I making a comeback now? Is I it four three? Up. I think you're up. Am I up? You but heard now, that. you I'm also up. have got whipped. Just once? What? I'm gonna make up. I'm gonna make up. Did you see me? I was putting forth some effort right there. I was trying, <laughs> if that one would've came off, I was gonna quit. Yeah. Catching them on minners and sewing thread. This portion of 3B Outdoors brought to you by Powell Clark State Farm Insurance. Get to a better state. Cornerstone Concrete Technologies. Your concrete is our canvas. Lawrence HDS Gen 2, the fastest HDS ever. Kistler Rods, field tested and used by the pros. Nelson Outfitters, outfitting in Wyoming or Montana for trophy muleys, whitetails, elk, antelope, black bear, and mountain lion. Matthews, catch us if you can. We've hunted all year and haven't seen anything. Maybe we just need to relocate. Hey, I just contacted Mark Slagle and his agents down at Twin Lakes Realty and Auctioner in Dandridge. Man, they was honest, shot me straight, and their customer service was wonderful. That's just a short drive to Pigeon Fords. If you'd like to relocate to the Dandridge area, contact Twin Lakes Realty and Auction at markwslagle.com. Or you could just give him a call at 865-397-3540. Traveling down the road in search of bucks, bass, and beards gives me plenty of time to reflect on the important things of life. Hello, I'm John Walls with Retirement Solutions in Knoxville. If you want peace of mind, safety of principle, growth potential, security, and lifetime guarantees, give us a call. Our reward is helping people secure their financial future and live their dreams with a passion for service second to none. Visit our website or give us a call at 865-247-OK. That's 247-6529. So you've worked hard. You've got that property that you've always dreamed of and you've built that home that you've always dreamed of. There's just a little touch missing. You need a fence, something to accent the property and secure your livestock. You don't want just any fence, you want the best fence available. Call Brown's Custom Fencing, 423-235-7400 or 1-800-249-6274. That's Brown's Custom Fencing. That don't like being hooked up. I thought that was a giant, no joke. He tagged it to her down there deep like he's one of them good ones, but. Golly, it's a bait right there. Was he in the middle of it? <clears throat> Man, they just pull, they don't give up, do they? No. Now he's choked that thing too. I mean, it's out of sight. In fact, he got it. I'm gonna try something while you're down there playing. You gonna drop that jigging spoon down you there? You better believe Look, it. I mean, they are just fat. And that's a 15 incher. And he wouldn't be worth a flip on turkey because they gotta be 18. But man, they are fun. You can come practice all day long. <laughs> mm. You got a big one? Talk to me. He feels good. Is it a big one? Oh yeah, that's a big one. Is it? I think so. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll get him when you tell me he's ready, okay? You don't have to worry about him. You get him up here okay. at the boat and you tell me you're ready. He's pretty green right now, isn't he? Yeah, he's bad green. <laughs> we about lost a fishing pole. 
We've got a small mouth on. It's Katie bar the door, but I've got the bell clicked on that mirror, so I'm ready when you get him up here. It's always cr holy cow! Look at the size of that one. Now I'm not going to rush him. Now you just hold on to him until he gets up here. We man, that's a good one. look at that thing. All right, he's now, choking. He's about him. ready this time here. Easy, Lord, you can't even, can't even see it, man. Nope. He got off. Oh, don't you start that. You better have him. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that man down there. You can't, I mean, it is gone. I got him burning a barley skin hook down there like a... Wow. You are the man. <laughs> Big tighter. The sun. Let me get back here and get the other stuff That's a out good of the way. One. That's a good one. We need a picture of we that. We need one. a picture of that. That's yeah. a Facebook picture. That's a Facebook picture. That's a Facebook for sure. Right That's a caper. Let's take a little break. I'll put him on the board and then we'll take a little break there. Show the measurements and then we'll come back after we take a steel picture and get everything back. We've got reels hanging everywhere. Oh, that's 18 inch easy. Yeah. He's, he's over the end of the board. He's Look 18 at that. and a half. Good. See. Four and pound test line, guys. Just tied it up, didn't you, big boy? Nathan? I tied it up, but I'm thinking I took it over on some weight here, well, babe. Look well. at this guy. I'm giving you every advantage I can do. There she goes. What about a tater? One more time. <laughs> That's awesome. Huh? Four pound test. I love Where's it. I love it. Get that, I love it. Get that, get that I lost it. <laughs> I'd say you lost it forever. I lost it. <laughs> Don't you come off now. That's 15 inch. Look here, boat flipping four pounds. Did you, four pound. you, Did you see that? Oh, that yeah. just happened, people. <sighs> Is he 15? No. Nope. No. But we still boat flipped one with four pound test line. You're in, baby. I'm in. We've created a monster with you. I'm telling you. Thank you, Lord. I hope not. Are you sure? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, that's a good one. You sure you, you want me to get him for you? No, I can't. Buddy, he hit that thing, Nathan, like like a crankbait. He trounced it. By, he? I mean, yeah. Look at that. Well, that's a pretty fish right there now. <clears throat> Look at that. I don't know if he is. I don't know if he's 18 Mike or not. Mike the but he's still a good one. That's just a mean. I mean, that size right there, they're fast and pull all the way to the boat. <sighs> he's almost 17. He's yeah, 16, 16 and a half. 16 and a half. Bad, bad boys right there. Tennessee smallmouth, tight line. I, I'm not sure, but I think Nathan's on something here. 3B Outdoors, sponsored in part by Canaan, ultimate UV protection and unmatched clarity. Tenzing, outdoor gear, legends live over the next ridge. Luminoc, lighted arrow knot. Rage, slip cam broadhead. Watson airlock. Phil Logic, Glendale full rut. Plano, tackle systems. Mycroft Media and Express Signs, national large format printing projects and fast local needs. Big Dog Muzzleloader by Performance Gunworks. We're asking people, why do you like Waffle House? You know what I really like best about a Waffle House? I can stop by here any time, day or night, that I've been fishing and get good breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It doesn't matter what time I leave in the morning or what time I get done in the evening, I can come to a Waffle House. You know what I really like about it? When I end up in the doghouse, I can always come to the Waffle House and get something to eat. <laughs> Hunting is a tradition that has been in our family for decades. We started this business several years ago with one goal, to get people into the sport that we are so passionate about. Conkeys has everything you need before you hit the woods. Look into our Garmin Astro tracking collars, along with dozens of accessories and custom-built antennas to give you the edge while dog hunting. Check out our custom dog boxes, each uniquely designed to fit your needs. Don't be left in the dark. The Ball Slide is another great product, which can be found on our website. So check us out online at conkeysoutdoors.com. Welcome to the family. Hey, I'm Freddie Neely from 3B Outdoors. For the last seven years, I've shot a spot hog sight. 
It's the most durable, dependable, rugged site that I've ever come in contact with. After several states and several critters later, I'm still greedy. So if you want to get greedy, go give Josh Johnson from Spot Hog a call. Tell him three of the outdoor boys sent you. Or better yet, go to spothog.com and order all their products. Oh, that's a fur. Oh, he ain't that big. He's mean as I don't know what. I think I, I figured out the difference. You got to talk to Barry. I, I'm paying attention to what I'm doing. You're doing exactly what you told me not to. <laughs> oh, you're on them, baby, I'm telling you. That's another bean. Gonna get a jump, baby. <laughs> he is still, he ain't gonna quit. He's angry. <laughs> one show, one fish per show. Isn't it? You've got them all. Look at that now. Well, a lot of grunt going on for some <laughs> reason. Maybe Alicia's right. Maybe I do need to go on a diet. That's a bad boy there. He still won't keep over. No, he won't keep, but they're fun. He's pushing what? Two and a half, three pounds? Yeah. Crazy. That's more fun than eating dirt, isn't it? I'm telling you. <laughs> Yeah, I believe that's better than fish. I believe that's the best one of the day so far. We well, ain't seen him yet, but he's got a little shake to him. That's another good smallmouth. I don't know if he'll keep, but he's close. Now I'm gonna ask you what you asked me. You need help. I think I'm, I'm gonna hold on to him as long as I can. Okay. That's a dandy. <laughs> it's pretty in it. That's a dandy. Man. He was pinned up good, too. You have him hooked good? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 17 and 3 quarters. Wow. Beautiful fish. That's a good one. Today's product of the week is Kistler rods. We're tight lining today on Cherokee. We're basically bear hunting with a switch, hooking four and five pound smallmouth and even some large mouth on four pound line and a little one eighth ounce jig head. When those big fish, man, they are mean and they are fighting like crazy. And if you don't have the proper action rod, they will take your stuff. When those things load that rod up, you want a good rod that has enough backbone to pull them in, but enough tip to let them take the line out without breaking them off. This Kistler 7 foot medium action LTX series is hard to beat. They will put them in the boat. Tested and used by the pros, Kistler Rods. Alright, buddy. Alright, we'll see. <laughs> did, you have, did you have a bruiser? Yes. Yes, I had a <laughs> bruiser. <laughs> Me trying to talk up, we was talking on the phone and everything. And I don't know what I'd done different with mine, boys. It just come up and gone. He didn't fool around long, did he? Dang. Now he got gone in a hurry. I want to face another one over there. Throw it over. This one here is close, one of them closers. Well, let me tell you, honey, the one I had was keeper. Dang, gone. Now, I'm, now, Nathan, mine's gone and he's still wet, but he'd eat that. Shoot. Okay. Man, you talking about a fire drill? No joke. <laughs> Dang! I wish I mine wouldn't have come off. God, look at that. You got, to, when you set the hook on yours, you just said, there he is, mine went, <laughs> <laughs> I thought, mine is lying? <laughs> And then yours is going this way, and I said, oh, no, man, that's crazy. Good job, man. <laughs> Good job. Dang. Ain't this fun? That's awesome. He's wanting to play under the boat. He's wanting to play under the boat. He was right against the bank, wasn't he? Yeah. Look at that. I believe he's close.
He okay. He okay, won't he? Yeah, he's... That's easy 18, I believe. I believe he will. Oh, yeah. Yep, right on the button. Either he's touching with his mouth closed. Right there, 18 inches right on the button. 18 inch brown fish. And we're not on Lake Erie. <laughs> and we're not throwing a drop shot. We're throwing a little gulp. They're eating the daylights out of it. Man, what a fight. He's ready to go. There we go. No, it ain't. And I don't even know if it's brown. I'm sure it's brown. I got a look at it, but I didn't get a good look at it. Came up way out there and then he went back down, didn't he? That's a large mouth, boys. Huh? I believe that's a large mouth. Oh, no, surely not. It mess up a picture. That's a large mouth. That's a big old large mouth too, ain't it? I want you to look. Look at that. You've you've ruined the picture. I've done it all day. You've brought me over here for a daggone smallmouth show and I've caught large mouth. Why don't you, why don't you swing him over and so look at that? <laughs> There's something wrong with this picture. Okay. Nathan promised me that he was gonna take me tight line fishing for smallmouth. You just showed off. And I'm catching large mouth. And how many fish is that now? How many keepers? That, this right here, is number 20. That's number 20. And that's a nice one. That's a good one. And that is probably, I don't know, what, 12 keepers? Yes. Large nice. mouth, small mouth, both. Now, how many, uh, had you caught tight line before today? Tell Z them one more time. I have caught zero. <laughs> And it's how, awesome. How many's abused you? How many of them? Have Two you? have literally whipped me all over the lake, and I will be the first to tell you that. Good. I mean, all right. You've rubbed it in on me all day. Yep. You that don't look like a smallmouth, but I guess it'll do. You're the tight line king. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. It's been an awesome day, man. <laughs> I mean, it has been an awesome day. That's where you want him, way out there away from the boat. Goodness sakes. I'll have to help you on that. You won't be able to handle that by yourself. My stars above. What have you done? You've corrupted my technique. <laughs> You've took it and converted it into a stinking big old largemouth <laughs> bait. Look at that thing. Who's winning? Well, I ain't sure just yet. Who's pulling if he'll take her If he'll take a right turn, Clyde, <laughs> well, everybody's going to be happy. Nathan, you told me you was going to take me and teach me how to catch smallmouth. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly. Look here. Just fall out of his mouth. He, he his, was hooked pretty good. He was pinned up. <laughs> Look at the side. Looks like he's been caught before. He's been caught several times. <laughs> Bless his heart, he's dumb, ain't he? He can't figure it out. <laughs> Big tater. Tater times two. Oh, dude. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You just ruined everything. Now, we, we're smallmouth fishing, by the way. Right. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh. See you, big girl. That was sweet. <clears throat> I'll get off the camera and give you a big knock. Boom! <laughs> that was good. That was, that's, that's a closer good. right there. That was, awesome. that was awesome. That was awesome. That's a game changer, wouldn't you say? Woo. Three inch gulp minnow equals four pound largemouth bass. Nathan calls me back at the beginning of the week and he says, I'm going to teach you how to tight line. And I've been after him for years trying to get him to teach me this, okay? So we meet up here at the ramp this morning and we go tightlining and we have absolutely caught them. And we, we're probably 24, 25 fish. It's cold as whiz, but there's two 
that are going to haunt me for the rest of my life. And I'm sure he's probably going to show them to you just any time. But they're giants, okay? They were giants. Come on. All right. Come on, All right. Quick release. Wasn't the keeper anyway. It's dark 30, baby. Fishing's over. No, we didn't get him in the boat. That's right. Oh, we get to cast again. We got to keep going. At 3B Outdoors, we do it all. And even our camera guys, well, they're not really camera guys. They're excellent fishermen behind the camera. They can catch them too. Just watch Barry bust this big one. All right, we're still rolling. It's dark. <laughs> and we've tried to wait till somebody caught one before we go home. And Barry's hooked him up here. Is it a keeper? Oh, that's a keeper, man. That's close. Oh, that's a good one. That's real close. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, baby. Uh, that's awesome. That's the way to end it, baby. If you can see it in the dark, that's the way to end that's it. That's a stud right there. <laughs> that's what we're talking about, baby. Cameraman rock. <laughs> Woo! He's fired up. I'm pulling the trolling motor up. We're going home. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a blast today, man. I think that makes our 27th or 28th fish or whatever. That's <laughs> cool, man. Cameraman comes in at the end. That's awesome. That's, That's awesome. Killer, buddy. Praise the Lord. What a close to an awesome day. Big small mouth, big large mouth, and great friends. Barry came out from behind the camera to finally seal the deal. He caught that last big small mouth and all of us went away happy. Next week, don't miss the show because Freddie knows hunting guys will be in a tree stand or a blind chasing something big. And I'm Nathan Light. Appreciate you watching 3B Outdoors because we always bring you quality hunting and fishing. We have shook a rod all day. Okay? And I don't mean like jerk bait, I don't mean like shaky head, I'm talking all day, alright? So if you come to church Sunday and I'm at the door greeting, it's because I've already got the motion there. Right? My hand's killing me, my muscle in my thumb's killing me, I don't know how I'm waking up tonight, but it's been an awesome day.